When a porcupine fish becomes scared, it can puff its body up to twice its normal size. The porcupine fish does this by swallowing large amounts of water all at once. Most predators are unwilling to try to eat a blown up porcupine fish because the sharp spines on its body point straight out, causing any animal a bad case of indigestion. The porcupine fish has another defense. Its flesh is highly poisonous. Under normal conditions, the porcupine fish is small and oblong shaped and spends its days swimming near the sandy bottoms of coral reefs. This file fish has a long snout that is perfect for nibbling on tiny pieces of algae. There are many varieties of file fish. Some are quite colorful while others closely resemble the brown and black patterns of the sea floor. The skin of a file fish is quite rough to the touch. It is covered with a thick layer of bony plates and barbs that closely resembles the feeling of sandpaper. Seahorses are very funny looking fish. They have a long tail that can hold onto strips of seaweed and they can swim either horizontally or vertically. When seahorses mate, the male takes the fertilized eggs from the female and holds them in a tiny pouch until they hatch. As the young seahorses hatch, the male seahorse propels them out of its body one by one, letting the tiny seahorses float away in the ocean current. It's almost impossible to spot a stonefish when it is hiding among seaweed and rocks. This kind of camouflage is very effective when the stonefish is trying to catch small fish and crustaceans. To defend itself from larger predators like the moray eel or octopus, the stonefish has 13 sharp poisonous spines which rest lengthwise along its back. When the stonefish is threatened, these spines point straight out and can inject large amounts of poisons into an attacker's flesh. The wolf eel lives in cold water and loves to eat crabs, shellfish, and starfish. It has a large powerful jaw that can easily crush a crab's hard shell. Like moray eels, wolf eels hide in caves and among rocks until their prey swims within reach. The wolf eel may look dangerous, but it is quite harmless, unless, of course, you put your hand directly inside its hiding place. For years, people have wondered why the hammerhead's head is shaped the way it is. Some scientists believe this particular shape helps the hammerhead swim faster in the water by providing its body lift in the same way that an airplane's wings help an airplane fly. Other scientists believe that the hammerhead can see and smell better with its eyes and other sense organs spread across a wide surface. The lizardfish is known to hide in the sand for hours until its prey swims within reach. At that moment, the lizardfish will use its pectoral fins to leap out of the sand and then seize the fish or crustacean with its large mouth. When a flounder is very young, its eyes are located on two sides of its face. Over time, though, the eyes rotate until they are both on the same side of the flounder's face. Flounders spend almost all of their time on the bottom of the ocean. They will often cover themselves with sand so that only their eyes are visible. When a fish or a crustacean swims by, the flounder will snap it up with their mouth. Lobsters spend most of their time underwater but occasionally climb on shore to mate or eat. Lobsters are members of a family of animals known as crustaceans. These animals have no internal skeleton. Rather, their body is supported by a hard external shell. Periodically, the lobster must replace this shell with a new one if it is to continue to grow. These beautiful blue sea stars live in the warm waters of the South Pacific. Like other sea stars, the blue sea star has a simple set of organs enclosed in its body. For instance, its mouth leads directly to its digestive system. Sea stars do not have blood circulating in their body. Rather, they have a set of tiny fluid-filled canals that transport water from the sea star's mouth to the ends of its five arms. Shore crabs are often seen skittering across the sand in search of a hiding place. Crabs come in many different shapes and sizes. Some crabs are quite tiny and live inside the shells of mollusks. Other crabs can be very effective hunters, snapping up small animals with their giant pincers. The constant pounding of the ocean's waves will eventually eat away at this rocky coastline. This process, which takes many thousands of years, is called erosion. 
Sometimes people build houses along shorelines like this, only to have them fall apart when the cliffs give way to the force of the waves. Ouch! Many bathers have had their day at the beach spoiled by accidentally stepping on a hidden sea urchin. These spiny creatures are close relatives of the starfish. Their bodies can be segmented into five equal parts, and like the starfish, they move around on thousands of tiny tube feet, which are located on the underside of their body. The orange starfish moves around on thousands of tiny tube feet located on the underside of its arms. These tube feet are attached to tiny canals which line the inside of the starfish's arms. The pressure of water moving in and out of these canals helps propel the starfish's feet in the same direction. The slipper lobster's shovel-shaped mouth is used to move sand or other tiny objects on the ocean bottom. Lobsters, like the slipper lobster, can be found all over the world in warm and cold waters. All lobsters have a hard shell that covers their body, two antennae and a pair of large pincers which they use to grasp and kill their prey. Ah! <laughs>